Deadly poisonous snakes, handled with as much respect as a waiter ladling out spaghetti. The way of life in the square of the dead, Gemma Fna in Marrakesh, Morocco. The city Sir Winston Churchill loved to paint. The mystic business of mystifying snakes must be one of the strangest tourist attractions in the world. But there's no tongue-in-cheek about this ritual in a land where ritual and ceremony are part of everyone's living. Certainly the royal guard outside the king's palace in the capital city, Rabat. Ceremony, though always decorative, moves with the times, as does King Hassan himself, Morocco's constitutional monarch. Hassan and the young crown prince are close to the people, especially on this their national day, a time to take stock and announce new policies. The weighty business of making a nation's living is a heavy burden for a modern monarch. Others make their way along more traditional paths. Taking a nation from the Middle Ages into the 20th century is a question of knowing what best to preserve. The filigree carving of the great city gates is a style that survives unaided, as do the medieval bastions and certainly the storks adding their own touch to traditional Arabic architecture. Traditions are handed on to the illiterate by those who make their living by telling stories. Myths, legends and heroic tales are passed down with interruptions for the equally ceremonial taking of mint tea. Gemma Elfna is a fairgrounds come music hall where the preservationists are more energetic. These tumblers start at three years old. 